Yo guys, what is going on? It's Stanley coming back at you today with yet another quick division video where we're going to talk a little bit about the possibly revealed content for update number three, DLC three, expansion number one, the underground, whatever you want to call it. There's a ton, there's a bunch of names for this thing, but more importantly, it is the first paid DLC with exclusive rights to Xbox One for 30 days. And if the Amazon listing was any indication, we should be seeing it around or exactly on June 25th, which means we want to see it on PC or PlayStation 4 for at least 30 days after that date. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about why you're here and all the content that may possibly be added to this game beyond just the idea of, you know what, we're going underground and we're going to go ahead and do all this new stuff in PvE and all this other good craziness. What about all the other stuff that's already been added? You know, high value targets. What about safe houses? What about level caps? What about dark zones? And that's what I really wanted to go ahead and get in with you guys. There is so much stuff that is going to be added in this DLC update that it's, it's really going to make me want to go buy an Xbox version of this game so I can try and play it with you guys 30 days in advance. And I really have to see what in the world is going to happen because as far as i'm concerned the amount of content being packed in this particular update if all of this is 100 percent legit is absolutely incredible first off a brand new incursion uh based on some uh files that have yet to be implemented in the actual game there's an incursion called dragon's nest or at least that's what it's code named at this point there's no clue where it is on the map all we know is it's there in the game files so we should be seeing a brand new incursion titled Dragon's Nest, which is freaking incredible. If it's any indication of what um, Clear Sky was like, you know, compared to what Falcon Lost was, it's only going in the right direction. They have a really good way to try and make sure there's a, a nice variety of what you can do when it comes to these incursions. The next thing, of course, is the crazy world of PvP, you know, now entering Dark Zone, all that good stuff. You are now entering a contaminated area. Put on your mask and let's do this. The Dark Zone is a very dangerous place now, especially up in DZ6 with the cleaners and how fast you die. So if you have really terrible toughness, you don't last at all. Even in the lower DZ levels without the proper toughness, you can get wrecked pretty hard. More importantly, how about this? How about we jump from Dark Zone 6 and we're going to just blow this map wide open, right? They plan on doing Dark Zone 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And 11! Which is absolutely insane. And... They plan on including a level 30, 30 area PvE event inside the Dark Zone, not including all the PvE content for the actual DLC itself. So that was something that I was actually wanting for the longest time. If they actually had you go into the Dark Zone to try and fend off other people in the real world while trying to do PvE content, that is just absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to see how that actually comes about and maybe just maybe at e3 in the next couple of days when ubisoft takes a stage during their own press conference and they showcase this game and really show what this new underground dlc has to offer all of this may be true it may all just get completely thrown out the window and they may have something else completely planned but as far as i'm concerned yes give us a new incursion yes give us new dark zone levels Give us a level cap. We want a level cap. We want an increase in that so that we're not all stuck at level 30. We'd love to be able to say, hey, you know what? We can go up to level 40 now. There's level 40 enemies in the DZ and these higher levels up in 10 and 11. That would be absolutely insane. Anyways, guys, what are you hyped and most excited for with E3 right around the corner? Are you going to be watching that Ubisoft press event? Are you hoping that Massive takes a stage to showcase what they have to offer for the division in this underground update? All I can say is don't let us down. The premiere of The Division was absolutely insane. It was phenomenal. Every time I take the stage with this game, they blow everyone away. And with all the glitches and exploits that this game has had since launch, there's a lot of people that have quit. Now, hopefully, they can turn that around with all the new stuff that they added in 1.2 and all the stuff that they could be adding in 1.3 and this underground DLC. It could change things completely. I'm Insanity. Like if you haven't, sub if you're new. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.